Okay, in uh, preparing your planting material, especially from the minor branch of the lemon grass, first, when you remove it from the minor branch, make sure you remove it gently. Well, it, this is the minor branch, so when I'm, what I'm going to do is remove it slowly because you don't want to break the rooting system and also this time of your planting materials. So when you get your body material ready, well, you have to split it individually. So you can know how many do you really need for your planting area. So you can either individually cut the leaves out or just you know before you clean it make sure you either have a sharp knife or a scissor then make sure you cut don't cut it on the crowing point it should be above like three inch above the crowing point so it's right here if you look at this this is the growing point. Should be above two to three inch. Then you cut it. You can cut it individually, or just grab anything, everything here. Then you cut it. You can use the leaves for your drinks, and these are your planting materials. Well, you need to clean it. Take these dead ones, clean it, because you don't want to transfer any this is on the ground. Either you use the scissors to cut this part out or you can just use your finger to cut it. Now there is your planting material. Roughly, that's the spacing. This is the, the spacing between two rows, uh, two rows of lemongrass. Okay. This is one and a half feet. So mm -hmm. what we'll do is we're going to string the line okay. to keep our straight line. The distance is one and a half feet. So we, we are using, we did measure the stick, I have it one and a half feet. So starting from here, that's where, you, where your first plant will be. And the second one, It's right here. And 
that's the third one. Okay, so all the way. In the second row, we should be at the same as, especially between these two, will be one foot from that, one foot from here. Uh -huh. Then you can just estimate it. It should be right in the middle of these two, same as the next one. And half feet from here to here, and then also from here to here. And it should be in the middle of these two, because you want to control the uh, sediment going down, especially in your water. Okay, so here we are planting the lemongrass. What we're doing is digging up a hole where each of those stakes are, just a small hole, and putting in a handful or so of compost right where the hole is. The more compost, the better. Uh, it really helps retain the moisture and will give these young seedlings a, a good start. So as you can see, there's a hole being built, dug. Moving the soil to the side, put in a bit of compost. Mixing it up, mixing the compost in with the soil. And then putting the lemongrass in. There's the compost, so we just have a small container of it with us to make it convenient. And then putting in lemongrass and just putting that soil right back on top. This compost is about two months old. If you get nice aged compost like this, you really don't have to worry about it burning the plant. In fact, you could probably just put it in straight compost and it would probably enjoy it. But for economics, we're just mixing it about half-half with the soil. We're also going to do part of this row without adding any compost at all, just putting the lemongrass straight in. So we'll show you that in a bit. And in the meantime, take a break. These are without a compost. So you're just using the stick to dig a hole there, eh, Rodas? About how deep are you putting it in the hole, Rodolfo? Uh, at least three inches. Three inches? Yeah. After you're done planting, make sure you water it. Water it, very water it. And one way of measuring uh, if you're really watering it, your plant, you have to use a pink finger to describe whether that soil is wet. Stick, use your finger to stick in the ground, and then you can really see that it's wet. Then you're okay when you're watering it. Yeah. 
right after you put your first and second row of uh, erosion control, then you can also add uh, below that three feet away from it. Either uh, ceramic or uh, basil will be good. In the field, we saw that we were planting the lemongrass vegetative barriers in two rows. Um, along a straight line, we were planting lemongrass at one and a half foot spacing between plants. And then we planted a second row, you'll recall, that <clears throat> straddled the first row. They were planted in the spaces of the first row so that roughly if we had one and a half foot spacing between any plant and then here's another one and a half foot so the idea being that we have a zigzag array of lemongrass plants two rows for a single vegetative barrier if you're going uh, to be planting this and you want to proceed up a slope to help reduce erosion on a slope, even slow down the amount of sediment that might be coming down towards the bottom, we recommend that the spacing between these lemongrass vegetative barriers um, be reduced as you get on a steeper slope. So very generally, we've got this table here with a mild slope, say of 10% or so, say a mild slope, you might want to go 60 feet or so until you plant the next row. On medium slopes, about 20 feet. As you get into steeper slopes, 12 feet or so, you really want to reduce that spacing. And how that might look on the ground here, if come over here to a mild slope, say here's our, our lemongrass uh, double row vegetative barrier at the bottom. And in the case of uh, some places, you might have your your water well or something here that you're really protecting from having sediment come into. What we're saying on a mild slope is that you can go quite a distance. So let's come up the slope, walk about 60 feet up, and that's where we might want to plant our next double row of lemongrass. Going across one and a half foot spacing, here's your second row. And what this might be for a mild slope, 60 foot spacing. As your slopes get steeper, you're going to reduce that. You're going to do more to reduce the amount of soil that might come down. So in case of a medium slope, we're going to pull that down to about 20 foot spacing. So here we go. Then we're doing a double row. And we're going to go 20 feet here. You want to keep going because you've got a, a long slope. Let's come up another 20 feet. Now you can be planting things in between these vegetative barriers. You might be planting banana, you might be planting other fruit trees, other crops. But the idea is that you reduce your spacing between the lemongrass barriers. And this is done on the contour of the slope. Finally, on your steepest slopes, you might have your barrier here at the bottom. And we would recommend that you go every 12 feet or so. And again, follow the contour. A double row to really help slow down that sediment. Every 12 feet or so. Another row. Twelve foot spacing when you get up into your steeper slopes. So there you have general guidelines for how to plant 
your double rows of vegetative barriers as you get into steeper and steeper slopes.